The Grenville Bus Terminal will resume normal operations on Monday, 22nd June, following the completion of Phase 1 of retrofitting work. That confirmation from the Ministry of Transport and Works and the Royal Grenada Police Force. On Friday, officials from the Ministry, the RGPF and representatives from the various zone associations toured the newly retrofitted facility to give approval for its use on Monday. The Grenville Bus Terminal was closed to the majority of buses as government and the RGPF looked at ways to ensure COVID-19 regulations were not violated. Lyndon Bullin, civil engineer in the Transport Ministry, says with the completion of Phase 1, more work will be done on terminals in Ceteres and Carrieku. This basically is the first phase, which was just to cater for the loading base, so that way passengers can come in, they can social distance, and still be protected from the weather. Uh, so in the second phase, what we're going to try to cater for is a pavement of the cross stone area, and we're going to also cater for some drainage at the, at the back of the terminal. So that way all water collected and accumulated on the, the um, surface can be directed back out to, towards the sea. We had the same done in St. George's, we had this one in St. In, um, St. Andrews, and currently we're trying to have engagement with Karaku and also Sutter to see if we can have something similar arranged. So for this one in particular, um, once the plans were prepared within a couple of days, a few days, um, we would have engaged the contractors and this was done more or less in two and a half weeks following the planning and approval from the committee. The ones in St. George's, they were a lot smaller um, areas to work with, so it was a lot faster to put together than this one. ACP Justman Prince explained how the new process will unfold from Monday. We have six, six loading bays, and each of the loading bays will have about three buses at any one time. So that is way over our, the amount that is required. Fifteen and, 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 and then you have uh, extra three. So that, um, that will be the arrangement going forward. Now when the bus is coming, all buses will be entering from that side. And once you enter, you make your way all the way down, and then you'll be sanitized. We're going to bring over the sanitization booth to the left a little bit more, so you don't have to go to the dock area and come back out. You just go straight under the sanitized, get sanitized, and then if you want to leave, you swing out and you leave straight. That is if you're pong in the road, you continue on. Uh, and if you wait, you, you get sanitized and you come back, drive through this lane, and then you go, you take your park in your designated area. So all of this parking here will be designed and designated to the various zones. President of the Northern Bus Association, Chris Williams, says the move to retrofit the terminal was a great one that is highly appreciated by the drivers. We appreciate the covering, um, the new settings for the buses, in, in encouraging social distancing and so on, because part of the terminal we used to use before is currently using for sanitization and so on. So we understand that, you know, we, need, we, we have to get new structures and we appreciate the covering and so on. Also, there is a few areas in which I think there should be improvement. As, as you can see, the area is not paved. Now the authority said that paving will take place soon. So we're hoping that we don't have to spend the next year or two years in that mode or in that gravel area.